Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will see that how we can use the style binding with the example. So style binding is basically very useful when you just want to provide uh, some dynamic style and you just want to put some conditional style and all. All right. So now let's start with that. So first of all, uh, in all cases we never need the style binding but many times style binding is very important and normal style cannot be replaced. It, all right. For example, if you just want to provide a normal style, then we basically use the style property and here we just use the, let's say color and just simply provide the color like red, all right? And we can easily change the color like this, all right? But style bending is a little bit different to it. So let's say, uh, just see that how we can choose the style binding. So first of all, we just have to use a square brackets and inside the square bra brackets we just have to use here style dot color like or uh, style dot property name like color and background color whatever you just want to do all right and here you can just provide some property like i just want to make it uh, green so we can just put like this all right and here you can see that the color is changed in the green all right so why we use the double curly braces because if we are uh, just use this uh, single brackets then it will understand that green is a kind of property or a variable right that's why we have to use the double course then single course in the angular all right so now let's see that how we can just uh, use the dynamic style like uh, we just uh, use the color name in the variable all right so for that you can just put here like color and it will be yellow and we can just apply it here let's take third row and we can just make it simple color right and let's uh, just put again here here the quotes again all right so now you will see that we got the yellow color here all right so now let's see that uh, how we can put some dynamic colors on a button click so let's say i have a button here so i'm just going to put here like some text in change color or change style and on a button click, uh, let's call a function. So let's make click event uh, on change color. All right. And let's define this function here like this. And here I am just going to change the color yellow to blue. Right. So this, this dot color can be blue right. so now whenever I'm just going to run it and uh, I'm not able to see the button let's save it now we uh, button is visible. whenever I'm just going to click on it now you can see that the color is changed in the blue all right so this is the way that how we can just uh, make some dynamic style if uh, you just want to put here some other variable then you can also do it so uh, let's say you just want to some put a conditional style if we have an error then it will show the red color otherwise show the green color then how we can do it so let's take a one more variable with the name of uh, property the name of error like this and let's say this is uh, by default false all right and let's make one more color here with the name of 4 and now you can just check here if error is true then it will be show the red color else it will show the green color alright so now you can see that it's showing the green color because error is false by default alright so now let's make it true with the on button change here you can just put here two then now whenever I'm just going to click on button it should be changed with the red now let's see because this value is now true so, so this is the way that how we can just change the color with the conditional basis also so if you just want to change it uh, in a kind of toggle then this is also possible then you can just put here this dot error and it's negative all right now let's try to see it what we actually got here now you can see that this is the toggle with the color because every time we just put the negate negation of the error 
So if this is true, then it, it will make false, false will be make untrue. So thanks for watching this video. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this button. Bye bye. Take care.